All right, you guys, welcome to your 47th and last method we have to create in this class, and that is the able to type method. So again, the able to type method is the method that we want to pretty much create to allow the user to type text into their little text area. So by default, we set the user text area to, they pretty much can't type anything in, set editable equal to false. And that's because, like I said, the user shouldn't be allowed to type things in when they're not connected to another computer because not only would it be a waste of time for you know them but it would also cause problems when you try to send something through a stream and no one's on the other side so what this method is basically going to do is let the user type stuff into their box okay okay you know good example alright so now what I want to do is create private void able to type I think that's what I named it able to type and for here we're just gonna pass in final boolean true or false so again this able to type method whenever it's true that means okay the user is able to type things whenever it's false we want to say okay the user is not able to type things into their text box so actually what I can do is I'm gonna copy all of this right here first of all because I'm lazy and second of all because we need it so it always does that okay format format and there we go that's how I want it so basically just like before since we're updating a portion of the GUI in this case we're not updating the chat window and putting text in there but we're updating the GUI in another way we're either gonna set this form that they have to fill out able to you know type stuff in or not able to type stuff in so instead of you know appending crap in the uh, chat window what we can do is set the user text which is the area where you can type stuff in we can set the editable which pretty much means um, whenever this is true you can type stuff in there whenever it's false you can't stuff it, it, it's pretty much grayed out and you can't type anything in and we're gonna pass it in T or F so now this able to type method is ready to go um, let's see where I put it wow I can't even freaking find it anywhere okay so in this case whenever you are connected to something and we pass in true on able to type what happens is it gets passed in true right here and it pretty much updates the GUI where it says okay you know that area that was grayed out before because we didn't want you sending anything in there well you now can type stuff in there and guys once I uh, actually run this application and show you guys what part is grayed out and what part turns editable once you're connected to someone else it's gonna make a lot more sense if you never work with this method before but for now guys pat yourself on the back because the server class is now completely finished so of course if you notice there's no main method in here so what we're going to be doing in the next tutorial is creating another class that kicks off or kickstarts this and it's only going to take one more tutorial and then we're going to be testing out this half of the program but guys remember what this program is is basically a two-part tutorial once we put this program on the server we're gonna have to make another program that's actually a lot like this to put on the client computer and once they run the program and you run the program you guys are gonna be able to have a conversation with one another it's going to be awesome amazing coolest tutorial that I made yet and if you guys want any of this source code then it's available on my forum tnbforum.com so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video